I'm James, and in this video, I will show you how to create a professional website from start to finish, step by step, for complete beginners. By the end of this video, you're gonna know how to make your own website like this one, or this coffee house, a lawyer website, maybe you are a dentist, or you could be like Diana, the food blogger, maybe you take care of dogs, or John, the abstract painter, or maybe you own a real estate company. Maybe you are a freelancer. Or maybe you run a restaurant. Whatever you do, we have a website for you. I will teach you how to make all these different websites step by step. And the good news, that you do not need any experience whatsoever. Building a website has three main steps. The first step is choosing a domain name. A domain name is your website name. It is the address where internet users can access your website. For example, Facebook.com is a domain name, Google.com is a domain name, and usually your domain name will be your business name. We gonna provide you the domain name during this tutorial for free. Second step is sign up for hosting. Hosting is where your website lives. It's a giant computer that's run 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, that holds all of your website information, and without it, no one will be able to access your website. During this video, you will be able to get 70% discount on the world's most popular hosting company, Bluehost, and it will cost you after discount $2.95 per month, less than a cup of coffee. And third step will be installing WordPress. WordPress is by far the most popular way to make a website in the entire world. It's used by more than 400 million websites worldwide, and it's totally free. A quick note, we are not selling you anything. There are no courses or pitches. And the truth is that you do not need to spend any money to learn how to create a professional website. We're going to show you everything that you need to launch an amazing website. So without further ado, let's get started. The first step is to click on the link in the description to get 70% discount on Bluehost. Bluehost is one of the top recommended hosting providers, and it's been picked as PC Magazine Editor's Choice for Web Hosting. I personally use it for all my websites and it's really the best. Click here on Get Started. Bluehost has more than one plan, but we gonna look at the first two, Basic and Choice Plus. The major difference between them that with Basic you can host one website and with Choice Plus you can host unlimited number of websites. So if you are planning to create multiple websites in the future, I highly recommend Choice Plus plan for you. All plans come with free domain, free SSL certificate, which is the locky up here. This will ensure the security of your website. Also, you will be able to create email accounts using your domain name. Bluehost has everything your website needs from startup to success, and that's why it's number one hosting company in the world. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna select the basic plan. Click here on select. Here, you can create new domain or use existing domain you already own. Let me create new domain. The domain name will be prodigitalhub.com. Note that domain name can be anything you want. Then click on next. I got a message that domain name, prodigitalhub.com is not available. But I got here other available domains, not ending with .com, so I have here .online, .site, .website, etc. If you insist on having .com domain, then go back and try other domain names. But for me, I will continue with prodigitalhub.net. Click here on the cart icon. Then go up here and click on continue. Enter your personal details here. And then scroll down to the package information. Here, you can choose the hosting duration. You will notice also that domain and SSL certificate are free. At the package extras, untick them all. However, I recommend to keep domain privacy protection. This will ensure that your domain details are hidden and you won't receive spam emails. The final step is to go down and enter your credit card details. And then click on Submit. Well done, you subscribed to Bluehost successfully. Click on Create your account. Choose a password to use it while logging to Bluehost. Retype the password. Tick here and click Create account. Click on Create your website. Here are some optional questions. Click on Skip this step. Choose your website type. For me, I'm gonna choose Business. Skip this step and skip this one as well. Here, it provides you basic templates to use. However, we don't need them as I'm gonna show you later in this video. Amazing free templates. 
Go all the way down and click on Skip this step. Great job! Bluehost is now installing WordPress on your website. Just hold on for a minute. WordPress installation is complete, and we are inside Bluehost dashboard. The last step is to go to your email and verify the new domain. Click here and verify your email. And by this we are done with this step. In this step, we gonna clean and prepare WordPress dashboard for our new website. To access WordPress dashboard, click on Manage Site, and then click on Log into WordPress up here. We are now inside WordPress dashboard where all the magic happens. First step is to delete all unnecessary plugins, which usually added for commercial reasons, and we don't really need it. Highlight down here on Plugins and click on Installed Plugins. Go down and select all plugins. Choose Deactivate from here and click on Apply. Select all plugins again, choose Delete and then Apply. Click OK, and by this we deleted all unnecessary plugins from WordPress. The next step is to delete all pages so it doesn't conflict with the theme that we gonna upload in the next steps. Go to Pages and click on All Pages. Select all from here, choose Move to Trash, and then click on Apply. Let's go back to Dashboard Home and clean it. Click Dismiss here. To minimize all boxes, click on this small triangle. And by this, we are done cleaning WordPress dashboard. The next step is to go to Settings, then General, and add our website name and tagline. At Site Title, you can write your business name, or maybe your personal name if you are creating a personal website. For me, I'm gonna write my channel name, Pro Digital Hub. And at Tagline, write few words to explain what this site is about. And then go down and click on Save. The next step is to click on Permalinks under Settings. Make sure that Post Name option is selected here. Usually it's done by default, but it's important to check it to avoid any issue later on. And by this we are done with WordPress preparation. Let's move now to the next step. In this step, we gonna install SSL certificate to secure our website and enable encrypted connection. Click on Plugins, then click on Add New. Search here for SSL. We gonna choose really simple SSL plugin. It has been installed more than 5 million times and it's free. Click on Install Now. And then click on Activate. The next step, click on Settings, then General. Here in the WordPress URL, delete everything after the two slashes. And then add the letter S after HTTP and write the domain name after the two slashes and you have to do the same steps for next field. So this two fields should have HTTPS, colon, forward slash forward slash, your domain name. Make sure to write it correctly and avoid spelling mistakes. And then go down and click on save. You've been logged out of WordPress dashboard. And to log in again, go to Bluehost and click on log into WordPress. In some cases, SSL certificate takes up to 24 hours to be activated, so if you get this window, take a break and come back after a few hours, and you will be able to log in to WordPress. However, if you still see this window after 24 hours, go to Bluehost, and click on this icon up here. And then click on chat icon. New chat window will open. Bluehost support is a world class, and they will surely assist you. Send them the following message. SSL certificate is still not active, and I'm not able to access WordPress dashboard. Please assist, and then hit send, and wait for an agent to join the chat, and solve the issue. This is rarely happening, but I want you to be ready for all scenarios. After a couple of hours, the SSL certificate is activated, and when clicking on log into WordPress, I've been able to access WordPress dashboard. The last step is to go to settings, and click on SSL and then click on Activate SSL. And by this, SSL certificate is fully activated on our website and it's 100% secure. To view our website, go back to Dashboard and then hover the mouse on Website Name and click on Visit Site. You will notice that domain name is active on the website and you have this SSL lock active on your website 
and the connection is secure. We can see this toolbar up here. This only shows if you're logged into WordPress. To go back into the dashboard, all you have to do is click on website name again, and now you can switch back and forth to the back end of your website and to the front end of your website. Let's move to the next step and add a theme to our website. In this step, we are gonna add ready-made theme for our website, which will enable us to create an amazing website easily. Go to plugins and click on add new. Search here for starter templates. We gonna choose this free plugin. It has been installed more than 1 million times and it will give us many ready templates to choose from. Click on install now. Then click on activate. The plugin is successfully activated and you gonna find it down here. Click on see library. You'll get a welcome message. Just skip it and click on build your website now down here. Here are three options for page builder. Choose Elementor, which is the best and easiest one. Here you will get many amazing website templates to choose from. As you can see, there's pretty much a website for every different occasion. So you can always have a look through here. And you can see that there are just so many and they look really good. Those with premium label means that they are not free. But don't worry, there are many free amazing templates. So for example, here you have a template for blog website. For ebook author. You have here a template for Academy. Also for spa website. For coffee shop. For online health coach. The fact is that you have many free templates to choose from. You can go up here as well. And for example, if you want to create a website for lawyer, click on professional and select law. You'll get all templates related to creating a website for legal firm. However, for this particular training, we gonna use this template, Outdoor Adventure. This template suits all website types, in case you couldn't find a dedicated free template for your niche. Keep in mind that you can use any template and change it completely to fit your website niche. The template is only a guideline of website design, and this is what I'm going to teach you in the next steps. And if you wanna view any template before adding it to your website, just simply click on it. Let's view this one for example. And you can have a look at this template before adding it to your website. Click on back down here to go back to templates list. And as I mentioned, the template that we're going to use is Outdoor Adventure, which is a generic template that suits any type of business or personal websites. And it's my personal favorite. As you see, this template has many nice design elements, which will make any website looks fantastic. To add it to our website, click here on skip and continue. Go down here and click on continue. Write your first name and email. Choose I'm beginner and I'm building website for myself, company. Go down and click on submit and build my website. Now, the template is being added to your website. It will take a few minutes. Great job, the website template is active on your website. Click on view your website. And here you go, your website is active with very nice design and with minimal effort. At the next steps, we gonna change website look and feel to make it appealing to our business. To go back to WordPress dashboard, hover the mouse on the website name and click on dashboard. Let's move now to next step and start designing our website. In this step, we gonna start working on the website design. We gonna design a website for ProDigitalHub.net, which is a digital agency. And of course, you can follow the same steps for any website type. The first step is to go to our website, hover the mouse here, and click on Visit Site. Let's start with changing the website logo. Click here on Customize. And then go down here to Site Identity. Click on Site Title and Logo Settings. This is the current website logo. This colored logo will not appear on Desktop View, but it will appear when you open the website for mobile and iPad. Down here, you can change the view. Here is the desktop view, and you can switch it to iPad or mobile view. In order to change the logo, go here and click on Change Logo. Upload Files and Select Files. You have to have two logos, one colored logo and one white logo. The easiest way to create your logos is through Canva.com, or you can pay Freelancer on Fiverr.com to do it for you. Make sure that your logo comes with transparent background. 
I'll choose here the colored logo. Click on Select, and then click on Skip Cropping. You'll notice that logo is changed. Go down and do the same steps for Retina logo. Both logos are changed, and as I told you, this logo will appear only on iPad and Mobile View. And you can go down here and change logo width on Mobile View. Let's go back to Desktop View and change this white logo. Click on this arrow to go back and click on Transparent header down here. And here, we have to upload our white logo. So click here on Change Image and upload the version of the logo in white color. Now, the white logo is added here to the transparent background. Go down and change Retina logo as well. Also from here, you can control logo width. Let me increase it slightly. I think it looks good this way. OK, to save your work, click here on Publish. And then close this box. And we'll find that our logo is changed and looks great. Now let's move to the next step and start designing website pages. To start working on the website design, the first step is to click up here, Edit with Elementor. Elementor is the most advanced drag and drop page builder and it's very easy to use. Close this one. Now we are on the home page. Let's start working on the first section, which is the main banner. To change the text, click on it and we can edit it from here or from the box on the left side. Let me write here, for example, World Class Digital Agency. And here I'll write something like, your trusted partner. It's very simple and straightforward. If I want to change the font style, click on the text, and on the left box, click on style. And from typography, I can increase the font or decrease it. You have the full control here. And from here, you can change the font type, and you can change the font color from here. And you can change it to whatever color you want, but I think quite is really matching the design. As you see, it's very simple. The next step is changing background image to suit our business. Click up here on the dots in blue color, and on the left box, click on Style, and here you can find the current background image. And if you want to change it, click on Change Image. And the best way to find free quality images is to go to a website called Pexels.com. All images here are copyright free. Let's search for something like Agency. Click here on Filters and choose Horizontal Orientation. You can find hundreds of images here. Let me choose this one. I think it represents my business and it will look good on the website. Click on Download and the image is downloaded free of charge. This is really great website. Let's go back to our website and upload the image. Go to Upload tab, then select Files. Select the image and click on Insert Media. I think the image looks beautiful. You can try different images to find the best one. To control image brightness, go down and click on background overlay. You can increase it or decrease it from here. And at any point, if you want to see the full website without this box on the left, just click here on this arrow and you will have a full view. Let me show you something cool, which is adding video to the background instead of this image. Go to background and from background type, Click on the video icon. You have to upload your video on YouTube first, then copy the video link and paste it here. I'm gonna add Skydive video to show you how it works. And the video will be played at the background, as simple as this. And you can go to background overlay and increase video brightness. Let's have the full page view. It looks just perfect and your website will look extremely professional and trendy. Let me put the image back, but now you know how to add video to the background. Just go to background type and click on classic and the background image will appear again. Very important note, to save your work, you have to click down here on update, otherwise you'll lose your work. Let me click here on update and at any time, if you want to view the website outside Elementor Editor, just click down here on this little eye icon and the website will open a new tab and you can check your changes. Let's go back to Elementor and continue working on the home page. Here with the button, if you want to delete it, just right click here and click on delete and the button will disappear. To undo the delete, 
Just simply hit Ctrl and Z together. And to edit the button, click on this blue pencil. And you can do all sort of changes from the left box. You can for example change the text, learn more, to something like, our services. And from style, you can change button color. Click here on color, and let me change it to blue color to match the website logo. And you can change the button text color as well from here, but let's keep it white. And in order to set up a link for this button, go to content, and at link field, you can put an external link, for example google.com. So anyone click on this button will be redirected to Google. And also, you can put a link for internal page in your website. For example, we have a page in our website called services. Just start running services and the page will appear here. So anyone click on this button will be redirected to services page. I'm gonna show you how to create new website pages from scratch in the next step. So this is how you do changes to website buttons. I think it's very simple. Let's save our work and click on update down here. We are done with this image banner section. Let's move now to the next section. If you like the video so far, appreciate giving us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more useful tutorials. Let's move down for the next section. This section has a testimonial. You can click on it and do the changes from the left box. You can edit the testimony text from here and change customer name down here. But for me, I'm gonna delete this section and replace it with more powerful section. In order to delete it, right click here and click on delete. Now, we will create new sections from scratch. First of all, click here on plus sign. And then click also on this red plus sign. Now we gonna choose the new section structure. Each section will consist of number of columns. For example, let me choose here two column section. Click on it. New section is created with two columns. Let's insert image in first column and text in the second one. To do so, click up here on these white dots. Here you will find many elements that can be added to the website. Elements like text, heading, image, video, etc. What you have to do is to drag the image to the first column. So here is the image. And let's click on dots again and drag text editor to the second column. So we have now one section with two columns. One has image and the second contains text. Let's edit the image by clicking on this blue pencil. Click on choose image. And you can upload new image, but let me choose one of the existing images to save some time. Let me choose this one for example, and then click on insert media. Image is added to the first column, and for the text column, click here and you can write whatever you want. Let's add a header for the text. Click on the white dots again, and drag the heading element above the text. So we have here the heading, then the text editor. As you noticed, it's very easy to create sections in your website, and you will have a full control. Let's have full view of the website. I think that these two sections have no space between them. Let's add some space here. Go to Elements. Click on plus here to open new section. And you will find an element called Spacer. Drag it to the new section. And from here, you can control the space between the sections. I think the space is good. So this is how you start working on your website and add sections. Let me create another section for the services provided by the company. Click here on plus. Click here on plus again, and I want this section to have three columns for example. Go to elements, and the first thing is to drag image to the first column. Go back to elements and drag a heading under the image. Go back again and drag a button under the header. So you have now image, then header, then button in the same column. You can do the same for other two columns, or you can simply duplicate the first column. In order to duplicate it, right click here and click on copy. And then right click here and click on paste, so you will have a copy of the same exact section. And do the same step again to have another copy. And now we can delete the other two blank columns, right click and then click on delete. So we have now three identical columns. Let's start working on the first one. For example, as digital agency, I have a service called Desio Services. And for example, we also have Google Ads Service. And let's name the third service, Social Media. We can go here and change header alignment to center, so the text will come in the middle. And we do the same for the button. Click on it, go to alignment, and choose center. 
Let's add images now. Click on the first one. Choose Image. And you can notice Free Images tab. These images are provided by Elementor, and you can find good ones. You can use it instead of Pexels.com. Click on it and search for SEO images. I think this image is a good one. Click on it. And then click on Insert Media. Image is added, and it looks nice. Let me add images for the other two services. Images are added, but the size of images are not the same, and it doesn't look nice. So in order to change image size, click on it and go to Style tab, and change the image height to match the first image. I think it looks good this way, and we can do the same for other image. And by this our section is almost ready. Let me add title here on top of the section. Click here on plus. Go to elements and drag a heading, so we can have a title for this section. Let's write here, our services, and change text alignment to the center. Let's add space between sections. Click here on plus. Go to elements, but this time we'll add divider element instead of spacer. Drag it to the section, and you will notice that a divider line is added here. This is another way of creating space between sections. You can decrease divider width from here and change line alignment to center. And from style, you can change divider color. Let me change it to blue for example. Let's work on the button. I'm gonna rename it to more details. And here at button link, we have to create separate pages for these services. And I will show you in the next step how to create new pages from scratch. And from style, you can change the button color. Let me change it to blue as well. And of course you have to do the same for other two buttons. But to save time, I will do it later. Let us add video section. Click on plus, go to elements. And drag a video element to the section. The video will appear in full view. As explained earlier, you have to upload your video on YouTube first and then insert video link at the left box. And you can add header here, click on plus, and drag header from elements. You can write here, for example, message from CEO. You can also add video inside a column, press Ctrl and Z to undo this section. Click on plus and add to columns. And drag video element in the first column and text editor in the second one so you can write some information about the video. And of course you can add text heading here. So I believe now you have very good understanding of how to create new sections in your website. Let me show you some other elements available in Elementor. You can add an element called star rating. Change alignment to center and write at title, something like five star services. You can add this element to your website to give it some kind of nice visual. Let me show you another awesome element. Open new section and add three columns. Add counter element to the three columns. Click on the first column. Change the ending number to 500 and change the title to something like happy customers. Let me change the other two columns fast. So I have here 500 customers, 5,000 cup of coffee, and 630 projects. You can write whatever you want. Let me save the work by clicking on update and open the website in new tab. Let's scroll down. You gonna notice that counter will start from zero for each column. I think this is very nice feature. So as you see, building a website with Elementor is very easy and straightforward. You can add basically whatever you want. It all depends on your niche and taste. Let's continue working on the rest of homepage sections. You can click on this section and change the image and text. I think it's very clear to you now. And some people will just go here and delete it and create their own sections. Here you have another section with image background. You can change the image by going to style and the same goes for text and button. And here as well you have this final section. You can change the images, edit the text or maybe delete it. And by this, we are done designing our homepage. I tried my best to show you everything you need. And with the available tools, I'm sure you can create amazing website easily. Let's move to the next step and learn how to create website pages from scratch. In this step, we gonna learn how to create website pages from scratch. But before that, 
let me show you how to handle website existing pages that has been created by default when we imported the template. Here at the menu, I have some pages. Let me click on About Us page. In order to start working on this page, just simply click on Edit with Elementor and follow the same steps in the previous section. You can edit text, change images, add sections. It's the same exact process. I think this is very clear and I don't want to waste time on it. There are more pages here. You can delete any page as well and I will show you how to do it when we talk about header and footer design. And with regard to contact page, we gonna handle it separately in the next section. Okay, let's learn how to create pages from scratch. For example, here at the home page, we have SEO service. Let's create a separate page for this service and then link it with more details button. First step is to go to WordPress dashboard and then go to pages. Click on add new. Close this window and here insert your new page title. I'm gonna call this page SEO. And then click up here on edit with Elementor. Blank page will open and you can fill it with anything. There are two ways to add content to this page. The first one is to click on this colorful circle. You will get here all available templates in Elementor and you can import any page layout. Just ignore the ones with premium label as they are not free. For example, let me choose this template. Here you can view the pages inside the template. Click on Zoom to view the page design, and if you like it, just simply click on Import Template. And the template design will be added to your new page. And now you can work your magic and edit all sections as previously learned. This is the first way to create a design for new page. The second way is to build the page section by section. Let me first undo changes and delete all imported sections so we can have empty page again. The first section we gonna build is the main image banner. Click on plus and add to columns. Drag heading element into the first column. And then drag another heading on top of it. Also, add a text editor element at the bottom. So we have here, three elements in the same column. Let's write at the first one, SEO service. And at the second heading, I'll write something like, rank number one on Google. And at the text editor element, you can write some words about page content. Also, here we can add a button to this column. I'm just trying to show you all possibilities. Now let's add a background for this section. Click up here on white dots and then go to style. And from background type, you can choose image or video as explained earlier. Click here on Classic to upload image background. Go to Change Image, and let's choose Image from Free Images tab. Let's search for Google Images. I'm gonna choose this one, click on it. And the image is added successfully to the background. Let me change the text color to white for better view. Let's go back to Background. And here at Size, change it to Cover. And then we go to Advanced tab. And at Padding, click on this gray icon and increase the number at Padding bottom to enlarge this section. This way, your main image banner will look professional. Last thing is to make the fonts look clear. Go back to Style. And then go down to Image Overlay. Click here on Classic and choose Black Color. And you can increase or decrease background opacity. If the opacity is high, the image will be darker and vice versa. And with regards to button, let's change the text to get a quote. And let's redirect it people who click on this button to contact page. Start writing contact and select contact page. Let's go to style and change button color to blue. The first section of this page is ready. Let's add another section. Click on plus and choose to column section. For example, Let's add header element to the first column and image to the second one. And maybe we can add spacer element here. I think this is very clear to you now. You can add as many sections as you want. And if you want to have free text section, just open new section and drag text editor element. This will give you free text field. The fact is that you can build very nice web page with simple steps and powerful tools, totally free of charge. And when you are done building the new page, Click down here on Publish. And the new page is live now. 
the page address will be prodigitalhub.net slash page name, which is SEO. Okay, let's go to homepage and edit button link for SEO service. Click on edit with Elementor. Go down. Click on more details button. And here at the link, start writing SEO, and the new page will appear here. Select it, and that's how you create new pages and link it with buttons in your website. I hope that you find this tutorial useful so far. If you have any question, leave it to me in the comments section. Now let's move to the next step and work on contact page. In this step, we gonna work on very important page, which is the contact page. So click on it, and then click on edit with Elementor. And here is the contact us page. You can go here and change background, change the text. This is straightforward. This is the most important part in this page. Here, you can write your address, your email, your telephone. And for example, if you don't want this field, right click here and click on delete. And for follow us icons, click on it. And here you have Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Click on Facebook, and here you can add your Facebook page link. And same goes for the other two. Let's imagine you don't have YouTube. Simply click on next sign and delete it. And for example, let's add another icon for Instagram. Click on add item, and then click on icon library. Search for Instagram, select the icon, and click insert. And it's added here. And you can do design changes as well. Here from the shape, you can change it from circle to square. And from style, you can change icon's color to blue. I think, this is very clear now. Let's look now at the second part, which has the contact form, which contains name, email, and message. This form can only be edited from WordPress dashboard. Go back to WordPress, and click on WP Forms, and click here on Contact Form. Currently, we have three fields, name, email, and message. Let's assume that we want to add extra field for telephone number. Go here to Numbers and drag it to the form. We have the new field added here. Click on it and then go to Advanced and change the field size to Large. Go to General and change label to Telephone Number. And then go back to Advanced and at Placeholder Text, write Telephone Number and click down here on Hide Label. And to make this field a mandatory one, go to General and turn on Required. Let's work on Settings. Click on it. We have the form name and also we have here Submit Button Text. Currently it's Send Message. You can change it to something like Send Now or maybe Get In Touch With Us. It's totally up to you. And then go to Notification tab. The most important field is Send to Email Address. This is where details sent when someone fill the contact form. Currently it's sent by default to the admin email, which is the email you used when you signed up for Bluehost. To add another email, just insert comma and type the email address. You can add multiple emails. And just click up here on Save. Go back to your website and refresh contact page. You'll notice that changes are applied, telephone number field is added, and send button text is changed. Let's add Google Maps section to contact page. Click on plus and choose one column. And then go to elements and drag Google Map element. And simply write here your address to show it on Google Map. For example, let me write Harrods London and the location will appear here. Maybe you can drag a heading on top of the map and write here, visit us. So this is a nice feature to be added to contact page. Let's move now to the next step and start working on website header and footer. In this step, we gonna work on the header menu and also on the website footer. To do this, the first thing is to click up here on Customize and then click down here on Menus and click here on Menu, which is the website primary menu. We gonna see all menu items as shown in the website. For example, let's delete projects item from the menu, simply click on it and click on Remove and it's no longer listed at the header menu. I have created separate pages for all the services. Let's add them to the menu. First thing, let's delete the services page which comes with the template. And then click here on add item. Choose custom link up here. Here at the custom link, you can insert any website address, but I'm gonna use it to create services submenu. At link text, write services. 
and at the URL, insert hashtag. The hashtag will make this link unclickable. And then click on Add to Menu. Now, go to Pages and add all services pages, SEO, Google Ads, and social media. And then click here on Reorder. Notice here that all items are added to header menu, but we gonna create a menu for services to make it look more professional. Click at the right arrow beside SEO to list it under Services. So SEO moved from the header main menu to be listed under Services. And we'll do the same for Google Ads and social media services. So we have here the three services listed as submenu. And it looks amazing. You can also change order of menu items. Click on the down arrow and contact will be moved to the end. And if you wanted to show about after services, just go here and change its order. It's very simple and straightforward process. Now, let's edit take action button. Highlight here and click on this blue pencil. You can change the text to something like, get a quote. Button text is changed successfully. And here at the link, we gonna insert the URL of contact page. Copy it from here and paste it at the link field. So when anyone click on this button, we'll be directed to contact us page. And to change the button color, click on design. Go to background color and change it to blue color to match website button color. By this, we are done with header menu. Let's start working on the website footer. Go down to footer and click on the blue pencil right here. And then click on widget one. Go to the left box, click on got it. And here you can see the text that appears in the website footer. I mean this text. And in order to change it, just edit the text. You can insert your location and telephone number or anything you want. For example, let me change the email to contact at prodigitalhub.net. Go back and go to copyright. And from here you can edit the copyright part in the footer, but I highly advise you to keep it as it is. And in order to change footer background color, go back and then go to design. And here we have background color image. The current background color is black. Let's change it to gray. And when we are done with the changes, click here on publish in order to save it. Otherwise, you gonna lose them. Close this box and let's review our changes. Header menu is changed and looks beautiful. Clicking on SEO here will take you to SEO page. And if you click on get a quote button, you will be redirected to contact us page. And if you go down, you will find all changes applied to footer and background color is changed to gray. And by this, we reach to the end of the step. In this step, we gonna look on website mobile view. Click here on edit with Elementor. In order to look at mobile view, go down here and click on responsive mode and then click on mobile icon up here. Now, we're viewing the website in mobile view. You gonna notice that website has a responsive design by default and it looks perfect without extra effort from our end. For example, let's reduce the size of this text only on mobile. Click on it and then go to style. And from typography, we can reduce the size of the text. Note that the font size will only change on mobile and it won't affect the desktop and tablet view. And this is the beauty of Elementor. And also if you wanna center the header here in mobile view, just click on it and change the alignment to center. And for example, if you wanna hide this section at mobile view only, click here and then go to advanced and then go down to responsive tab and turn on hide on mobile. So this section will only be visible at desktop and tablet views only, and it will not appear on mobile view. And this is how you review your website mobile view. It's pretty straightforward. To check tablet view, click up here on tablet icon, and you can do the same steps if you wanna amend anything. And after you're done with changes, go back to desktop view and click on update to save the changes. This is very simple guys. Elementor is an amazing tool especially that you have all these features for free. In this step, I'm gonna show you nice elements that you can add to your website to make it look even better. Click on Edit with Elementor. Let's add motion graphics to this text. Click on it and go to Advanced. Go down and click on Motion Effects tab and choose for example Fade in Effect or maybe Fade in Left. You can play with it and choose the one you like. This is another great feature at Elementor. 
Let's view the website in separate tab. You will notice that effect is added, and it looks really nice. Let's add some motions to the button, click on it, and go to Advanced. And then click on Transform tab. Go to Hover, and then click on Scale. Turn it on, and increase the scale to more than 1. And here, when hover the mouse over button, its size will increase and give you some nice motion. So, use these two tabs, Motion Effects and Transform, to add awesome visuals to your website. Sometimes you have to add contact form to pages other than contact page. So let me show you how to add contact form to your home page. Click on plus, go to elements, and search here, short code, and then drag short code element to the new section. The next step is to go to contact us page. Click on edit with Elementor, and then click on contact form, and copy the code found at the left box. Go back to the home page and paste the code at short code element. And by this, the contact form is added to your home page. And of course, you can go to Elements and drag a heading on top of the form. I just wanted to show you these nice features, so you can apply it to your website. Now let's move to the next step. In this step, we gonna learn how to log out and log in into WordPress directly without using Bluehost dashboard. First of all, we need to set a password for WordPress dashboard. So go to Users and click on All Users. Here is the only user that we currently have. Click on it and go all the way down to Account Management. Click on Set New Password and enter Strong Password. And then go down and click on Update Profile. Now in order to access WordPress dashboard directly, just write in your browser, your domain name, slash WP hyphen admin, and you will arrive to this page in the username field. Write the email you used when you signed up with Bluehost, and then enter WordPress password, the one you just changed. And now you are inside WordPress dashboard without going through Bluehost account. That's it for this part, and let's move to the final step and create email accounts using Bluehost. In this step, we gonna learn how to create email accounts using our domain name through Bluehost. Click on Advanced, and under Advanced, you will find here, Email Accounts. To create new email, click here on Create. First, enter username of the email. You can write here anything. I will write here info, so the email ID will be info at prodigitalhub.net. Next, choose a password for your new email and click on Create. The email is created successfully and ready to use. And in order to access webmail, click here on Check Email. Tick this one and click on Open. You are inside your webmail and you can receive or send emails from here. Also, here you will find the settings in order to add your email to your mobile or Outlook. And by this, we reach to the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Talk to you soon.